Marion is a, uh, he's one of the young JW celebrities going on here, and uh, unfortunately, another another JW celebrity a la Terrence Howard in handcuffs. Well, at least he's not laying on a slab like Michael Jackson, yet. Um, if you, you may not have heard about Omarion, uh, he is, I, I've, Switch to belief net here, where they're discussing the topic, and it's divulged that another another celebrity is learning the truth. Here we go again. Actually, a few months back, I saw a photograph of him carrying a New World translation of the Bible and a Bible teach book, and was hoping and praying that he would take what he was learning to heart. And now he's in handcuffs. Go to this link. BB Buzz. Blah, 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 blah. And then scroll down about two thirds of the page to read that part. That's an interview in which the interviewer says, "I hear that you recently became Jehovah's Witness." Well, I'm not technically a Jehovah's Witness because I haven't been baptized. What you have to do in order to call yourself a Jehovah's Witness? You can become an unbaptized publisher, you see, but in order to really be associated with the religion, you have to be baptized. I have been studying with Jehovah's Witnesses for about two years now. Will you go door knocking? Yeah, I can see myself doing it. Prince does it. Oh, Lord. I think it would be fun. Oh, boy. <laughs> this. Oh, Marion, you have so much in store for you. I think it would be fun to go door to door knocking with him. Prince and Omarion on your do doorstep. What a day. It would be really interesting to knock on somebody's door and then see them open it up and be like, Oh, Prince. I, I fear, Omarion, that the novelty of that may wear off. It, it, I, I agree with you. It would be fun at first. I, hell, I'd go with you guys. But how long until the novelty of this uh, dissipates? Well, I guess, um, I guess the time has come. Omarion is in a jail cell, sadly. Um, and we and we'll we'll continue here. Uh, just to further confirm, isn't it strange how anytime a celebrity becomes Jehovah's Witness or kind of it's it's kind of this mysterious enigma that goes on. It's never really clear if anyone is ever a Jehovah's Witness. It's always a mystery wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in an enigma. Why is it so hard to confirm if somebody is or is not a Jehovah? Get this, get this off my screen. No, I don't want to get started. What is this? Why is, I don't know. Is this an alarm bell for you guys? That Jehovah's Witnesses is kind of this secret weird thing where it's, there's all, it's, it's, it's a flirtatious, uh, you know, dance with the devil. Is someone a Jehovah's Witness or not? And this goes back to the Jackson 5. It, are, are the Jacksons Witnesses or not? Sometimes yes, no, back and forth. It's all over the place. Was Michael Jackson a Jehovah's Witness? It all depends. That's how shifty these people are. It all depends on who's asking the question. That depends. Do you like Michael Jackson or do you not like him? If you like him, then certainly, by all means, he was a Jehovah's Witness. And we can document that for you and prove it for you very quickly. Oh, you think or you think Michael Jackson was a child toucher? Oh, well, we were, who's, who's Michael Jackson? I barely heard of him. Is Omarion a Jehovah's Witness? Startling in Times News. He has been spotted with some witness publications. I, I, I think it's amazing. It's, it's like trying to confirm if the Loch Ness Monster exists. <laughs> it's, um, it's plausible deniability for the witnesses. It's, it's not really this big mystery to figure out. It's, it's a shell game. They need that deniability there just in case. They always keep it in their back pocket. They love having JW celebrities, but they need to hold on to that deniability because you can get in a tough jam at the door, right? 
It can sneak up on you where somebody corners you and say, how dare you talk about God while this is going on? Oh, well, we don't have anything to do with that. That's just some crazy person that found one of our books. He has been spotted with some witness publications. And supposedly he has been spotted at some of our meetings. So does does this does any of this seem strange to you, the viewer? I keep asking you this and I keep getting a no. No, this is this is perfectly normal. Situation normal? Why are you doing this? Why are you so bitter? Supposedly he has been spotted at some of our meetings. Like he's Bigfoot. There has been a spotting. It's important to note there does not seem to be any word from Omarion himself that he is a JW. I visited his website to get a clue. We're, we're doing clues now. We're, we're, we're on the trail like Encyclopedia Brown. We're the Bloodhound Gang sniffing it out if there's a clue. There are some indications that I observed that likely signal that he is not a witness. Ah, some counter information. Some lyrics to some songs. His manner of dress. And there was Happy Valentine's Day greetings on his website. No. Whether that was for 2009 or leftover from last year is unknown at this time. <sighs> Many people study with JWs. Some accept it and become witnesses. Some do not. Also, Many, many people have parents, children, or other family members that are JWs. And while they may attend some meetings and or study, never become witnesses themselves. To become a witness often involves a complete renovation of one's life. A person no longer lives for themselves, but for the Creator, Jehovah God, because he needs it. And his son, Jesus Christ. I wanted to throw that in there. This requires so much that... It requires so much? While some enjoy the positive message we have, they are not ready to make the necessary adjustments. Can you really call it an adjust... Can you really describe it as adjustments when you're saying they have to renovate and overhaul? It requires so much that they have to overhaul who they are. They have to chuck their life. And you call it an adjustment, you bitch. To become JW. They want to live. They just want to survive. You're acting like it's a choice they're deliberating. Shall I become a JW or not? It's survival. They are being led to believe it's their only chance of living. You butt smoocher. This can be particularly difficult for... Why should it be so difficult to live? Have you? Has this ever occurred to any of you watching this video? Why is it particularly difficult to be a Jehovah's Witness? For those in the entertainment industry, it seems easier for them because their rules don't apply to them. You want to stay out all night? You want a club? You want to say Happy Valentine's Day? It's okay. Nobody ever told the Jacksons not to sing the national anthem. Nobody ever told the Jacksons not to sing Happy Birthday. It's on YouTube. I'm not making this up. Nobody ever told them not to get plastic surgery. Nobody ever told them not to associate with the world. Nobody ever told Prince that by suing your, by suing your fellow human beings, you are hating your brother. And anyone who hates their brother and says they love God as a liar. Also, our faith is one of action. After all, we are Jehovah's Witnesses. It's a verb. That means that we are witnesses for Jehovah. Is that what it meant? We have to continually witness about him to retain that title. Bullshit. What the hell you do, <laughs> you bastard. Okay, we'll scroll down. Whoa, 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 this is all over the place. You're all over the place, dick. First, a person must be baptized. 
Thus, a person must be baptized as a Jehovah's Witness to be regarded by the congregation as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Makes sense. Then, if someone is baptized as a witness, they have to keep on witnessing, that is, proclaiming and giving testimony about Jehovah. If they stop witnessing about Jehovah, they cannot properly be called one of Jehovah's Witnesses. How many times can you fit Jehovah's Witnesses into a paragraph? There is no indication from what I found that Omarion has been seen or heard witnessing about Jehovah. Isn't it? It's creepy, isn't it? The Jehovah's Witnesses feel they have this entitlement to... I guess he's a celebrity, but this is almost like a... It's not even a paparazzi thing, because paparazzi, they're just happy to see you. Isn't it creepy that they're trying to determine your standing before the Creator? Does that creep any of you out? No? I'm getting a lot of no's. Okay, we'll keep going. They, they, they think it's their business. And she's, this, this lunatic is writing a paragraph about this when there is zero information. She's writing a paragraph about somebody she doesn't know speculating about how, how God, whether or not God likes them or not. If they're in God's book of, of life, they have taken it upon themselves. There is no indication from what I found that Omarion has been seen or heard from witnessing about Jehovah. She wants to see the videotape of it. Therefore, while I cannot say for sure, it would appear that he has or been studying or attending meetings. It is also possible that once... Uh, th this just, they just keep... They just keep flourishing at whimsy. It is possible that once he was a JW, but has has since slacked off. She... <laughs> She's postulating that... Perhaps once he was a JW, but has since slacked off. Has since slacked off from the faith. I'm just slacking off from the faith today. If either of these situations, you don't, it, you, you skip field service for a little while, you're slacking off from the faith. How could you? If either of these situations are correct, he cannot properly be called a Jehovah's Witness. There's that word again. Of course he's baptized as a witness, but has simply slacked off. If he returns to actively witnessing about Jehovah, then he would once again be recognized by the congregation as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. But not before then, you see. I hope that made sense to you. Is Omarion a Jehovah's Witness? Does anyone know? Unreal. <laughs> Best answer. He attends the Southern California District Conventions of Jehovah's Witnesses with Marcus Houston. I see him every year, and he attends the meetings from time to time. Less of those? Um, someone needs to educate themselves. It's sad they have a viewpoint before they know the answers. Blame the householder. It's worldly people's fault for being befuddled by this. Kelly, AFC. Yeah, he is. Anyone that says anything bad about Jehovah's Witnesses should think very carefully, because you could end up being reported and being taken to court like Ted Drayton. What a great reason not to... They're, they're trying to instill the fear of, of saying something bad about Jehovah's Witness because they will sue your ass. They made an example out of someone. They'll sue you too. Anyways, back to the question. Yeah, he is studying. He has been for ages. The study has been going on for ages? Is the study going well? Why is it the, the celebrities study for years, decades? Have you ever heard of a Bible study going on this long? Here, I'm going to take a wild shot in the dark. You can tell me if I'm in the ballpark. I'm guessing that these studies aren't exactly like the normal studies with, with regular poor people where they study a page and you say, oh, I didn't think that was the case. Yeah, you were wrong. Let's move on to the next page. I'm guessing the reason these people don't, don't know anything about the truth is because I, I don't think it has the same rigid edges as it does for you and I. I think, I think the celebrity 
studies with them and tells them what they think. And the JW says, sounds good to me. That'll work here. He's been studying for ages and really enjoys it. I think it's brilliant. Everyone should have a belief. Uh, I'm not even going to go there. He's got the right one. Love it. Everyone should have a belief. And happily, he's got the right one. Shouldn't that, shouldn't that be everyone should have the right belief and also him? That sentence is all wrong. Everyone should have a belief and he's got the, white, the right one. And the white one. Is it true, Omarion the Singer? Is it true, Omarion the Singer? Details, please. Update. Stuff of interest to JW's dot blogspot. Do you ever feel the irony of people in this futuristic world of blog spots as they're still carrying on this nonsense from, from ancient tribal people <laughs> who shit in pots and buried it? And we worship their god. He is not a baptized member. However, he does believe the basic Bible truths of Jehovah's Witnesses and attends the meetings with Marquez Houston. That is why he cut his hair and has been off the scene for a bit, trying to grow up and get his life together and get arrested. No, not that. And get his life together by adding religion to it. I thought religion was a snare and a racket. Oh, well, not... Oh, uh, very respectable. Stamped original. He says on the face-off DVD that he's a Jehovah's Witness. How tantalizing. It's, it's a dangerous game. It's like espionage, trying to figure out whether or not celebrities are Jehovah's Witnesses. Are they or aren't they? It's titillating. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if we can get some more here. News on Omarion. The latest Omarion news. Now we're on World News Wiki. The latest bulletins on Omarion and his connection to Jehovah. Omarion cites religion for not celebrating V-Day. The dark reality we are contemplating. From all hip-hop, as thoughts turn to flowers, chocolates, balloon cards. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he popped up. He's like the Jehovah's Witness. You open the door, they pop up there. there. As thoughts turn to flowers... Balloons, cards, and romance. With someone special for people this weekend, Valentine's Day will be just another day in the life of Omarion, which is being documented. The former B2K frontman, whose music may supply the, the soundtrack for lovers on Sunday, when they're knocking boots, revealed that the special day of love is not on his radar. According to Omarion, holidays in general are not observed at all by him. Breaking news. I actually don't celebrate any of those holidays, said the singer slash actor, who cited spiritual reasons for his refusal to acknowledge the special days of the year. Take that, special days of year. It's more a spiritual thing, you see. I have to go with my conscience. I just decided not to involve myself in pagan holidays. Omarion's views echo many who list Valentine's Day along with Christmas and Easter as holidays with pagan roots. 
Omarion's perception of holidays comes as he confessed to taking steps to become a Jehovah's Witness. What a daring confession. Controversial. What will come of it? Despite classifying his denomination as being Christian, the entertainer expressed a desire to explore the other religion. I've been studying to be a Jehovah's Witness, he said. Well, I'm not baptized yet, so I can't technically call myself a Jehovah Witness yet. <laughs> but I have been studying. The question still remains, is Omarion a Jehovah's Witness? It has not been confirmed, but many speculate he is a Jehovah's Witness. The plot continues. Where is Omarion? How old is Omarion? What is a Jehovah's Witness? Is Omarion dead? What is what in an incredible or unreliable witness? Even I don't know what that means. Is Omarion father married? These foods kill your brain. I thought it was more interesting back here where it said that Omarion threw a hissy. <laughs> And I'm not going to make you read, I'm not going to make you click more and read, but. Amarion getting sued for jacking songs. Oh, what is this? Amarion getting sued for jacking songs. How do you like that, Prince? One of your buddies is getting sued this time. Oh, how the tables have turned. Amarion, not part of NJ's Grammy tribute, throws hissy fit. No Marion, you silly man. You're starting to act like Prince. How did Marquez Houston's mother die? His mother died of cancer when he was 15 year old. Cha cha cha? These people are terrible. Marquez Houston is an American R&B singer, songwriter, rapper, and actor. Member of R&B singing group Immature or IMX, as they were later known, from 1992 until 2001. He went solo in 2003. As an actor, he is best known for his role as Roger Evans in the television comedy Sister and Sister. I loved that show. Great, great family show. Personal life. Houston lost his mother to lymphoma in 1997. That's sad. In 2007, pictures began surfacing of Houston and his tug label mate, singer Jamila Mila J. Colombo, formerly of the group's Girl and Dame Four, kissing and holding hands. It was said in some reports that the pictures were old and that Houston and Columbo were already broken up. Columbo is a sister of Jeannie Daiko. Also in 2007, blogs began reporting that Houston was engaged to my wife and kids actress Jennifer Freeman. The two starred together in the 2000 film, the 2004 film You Got Served, Bitch. And if you don't know what that is, it's when uh, you jump out in front of somebody, you dance in their fucking face, 
and get them so pissed they don't know what to do with themselves. They're, they're trembling with anger because you danced at their fucking face. You did a ditty in front of them. You spun around. And they are steamed. They have to go home and dunk their head in a cooler. This report was never confirmed or denied by Houston or Freeman. In March 2010, Omarion posted pictures on the social website Twitter? Of Houston and his girlfriend, Mariana, celebrating their two-year anniversary. Marquee Houston discography. Excuse me. Nya, nya, nya. Marquez Houston's discography. We have... Naked? Uh... Mr. Houston, Mattress Music, released 2010. Well, that's that's after he's been studying. Uh, Sex, Lies, and Mark M H Marky Houston. Sex, 2009. He's already been studying for years. That girl, clubbing. Featuring R. Kelly. Shameful. Pop That Booty, Bitch. Featuring Jermaine Dupree. The lowest of the low. All Because of You. Naked. Sex With You. Like This. Featuring Young Jock. Kicking and Screaming. Pulling on her hair. Reproachable. Other charted songs. Body. 2009. Featured singles. After Party. First Time featuring Young Jock. Yeah, I wonder what that's about. Special Girl. Sugar and Spice. New Jock City. <laughs> Blast from the past. Posted by Bossip Staff. Oh, Lord. Here, here's a little Friday throwback fun of singing group Immature. We always thought something fishy was going on with that Jehovah's Witness Chris Stokes camp. Why are they in bed together in their baggy whites? thought something was funny about them, but damn! Blame Chris Stokes. Gay. Chris Stokes ain't no Jehovah's Witness, so check your facts before you come out your mouth. Michael Jackson took this pick. <laughs> Well, it's sad to say, but Chris Stokes turned Marquez Houston out years ago. And that BS you saw in Cribs with Marquez's red and black room, please. Marquez and Chris have lived and slept in the same room and bed way before they moved out into the houses in Diamond Bar. Which, by the way, were purchased with B2K's money. Although, although the houses were in Marquez's name. Chris and Marquez argue and interact like husband and wife. I'll let you guess which one is the wife. Marquez Houston's song, Pop That Booty, is not an R. Kelly track like they want everyone to believe. When R. Kelly did the Clubbin remix, he emailed the track to Platinum Status, Tug's production company. Mar uh, Marquez uploaded all of R's sounds. Still R. Kelly sound off the mp3 file, created a beat and tried to pass it off as R. Kelly's track. <laughs> B2 
Damn, you see Oh Boy on the right, hiding the Vaseline. Ew, gross. Respect. True, the fact that this was picture was taken by a possible perv pedophile has nothing to do with Jehovah's Witnesses' faith. Where were all these children's parents when all these photos were being taken? I saw Batman at Beverly Hills Center about 10 years ago. My daughter was, was with me and she was about 14 at the time. We were both shocked and disappointed to see in him the company of all gay males. So I believe the stories. Association brings out assimilation. Plus, I know that Romeo comes from an unprivileged fa family, living in the projects in Venice, California. Who better to target for the exploitation of a child but a poor-ass drug-using family such as they were? Chris Stokes, his mammy mama Stokes, and his no-talent sister Smooth need to all be held accountable if they knew so much about this lecherous shit. Silent Lambs. I too do not understand why Jehovah's Witnesses were thrown in on this. Where has Chris ever said he was Jehovah's Witness? Joe, you made a good post. People know nothing of Jehovah's Witnesses, but throw a lot of junk out there about one of them. If Chris has done these things, that is something he will have to pay for. Not one of Jehovah's Witnesses. He's going to sit back and say that, that these acts are okay. Please also remember that we are all imperfect, so just because it's one of Jehovah's Witnesses' faith doesn't mean that they will not fall short. I'm in no way saying uh, his actions are okay, but if I had been molested myself and the person who did it to me uh, went to a church, some of you hold your your church is so dear, would it be fair for me to slam all the members of my church just because one of their flock was a child molester? No! If it wasn't for me having the faith in Jehovah, I wouldn't have been able to make it through. The other Jehovah's Witnesses have been more of a family to me than my own family. You really should think before you speak and not offend a whole group of people, because one of you could believe uh, to be one of that group is a bad apple. How did Jehovah's Witnesses get thrown into this mess? Why not a Jew or a Catholic? Why must so many people hate one religion? Jehovah's Witnesses firmly believe in 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10. What? Do you not know that unrighteous persons will not inherit God's kingdom? Do not be misled. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men kept for unnatural purposes, nor men who lie with men. Notice the point. Nor men kept for unnatural purposes, nor men who lie with men. People need to get their facts straight before criticizing the witnesses. Let's remember that they were really young when they started this group. And what does being a Jehovah's Witness have to do with this picture? People's religious beliefs should not even be mentioned. Sweet butt. Oh no. Sweet butt. He is a defender of Jehovah. Chris Stokes confesses to child molesting of B2K and Marquez Houston. And if you're a JW and about to begin typing your denials, don't bother. Don't you dare. I am in no mood for your shell game. Oh, he may not be a Jehovah's Witness this month. For all you know, he hasn't turned in time or months. Look, if this game, if this word game Jehovah's Witnesses played, if you guys want to do it, I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. This game of status. Is somebody in or out? Out, in, out, 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 in?
This was the man who taught these oh, boys about Chris Jehovah's Stokes. Witness. Chris was like, let me touch you. Marquez Houston's sister says, did he touch everybody or was it just you? Raz B. You know what? I can't speak for everybody, but if you want my personal opinion, I think he did. I kind of knew what was going on there, and yet I took my brother, Raz B, over to Chris, and I didn't protect him like I should have. Chris Stokes molested my brother, Raz B, and he molested me. When I say that, it hurts. Later on in the video, Ricky Romance, who, who names a kid Ricky Romance, calls Chris Stokes, who seemed to admit to the allegations. I don't do that anymore. That was me years ago. I just don't do that in my life anymore. Yep. Why would you bring that up? I don't do that anymore. Twenty six responses to Chris Stokes confesses. I've said this so many times, yet I will say it again. Chris Stokes is the perpetrator in this incident, not Marquez Houston. There is not a huge age difference between Raz B. Kadan, another person who accused Marquez Houston of molestation, and Houston. They were all children at the time. Marquez was coerced by Chris Stokes into having sex with Raz B. Raz B. admitted that Stokes would watch and coach while Houston had anal sex and Raz B. Again, um, you know what? I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop reading. I know how the Jehovah's Witness game is played. That when it, when, even when a Jehovah's Witness man has been caught red-handed, Jehovah's Witnesses still say, well, you, you, you were part of it, right? They still say to the child, you are, you're not entirely without blame, are you? You, you were kind of in on this too, right? Why don't we just drop the whole matter? Because you're partly to blame here, wouldn't you say? This man was the Pied Piper. You're starting to act like Prince. It's scaring me. Omarion, I'm scared for you. I'm scared for... Bossup? I apologize for that name. Um, apparently this is a black gossip page, so you'll have to um, bear with me here. That was... Well, that's that's Jay-Z and Aaliyah. He, he's probably one of the people that murdered her. You have no idea how evil these people are. I'm worried for Omarion and Marquez. What if this poor boy's mother did not die? What 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 his life could have been? What if his mother was still alive and this JW demonism had not come into his life? She was down by street decree. She's washing through my best years of me. Fat painted lips on a line of white beauty. A tangerine girl with tambourine eyes. Her face was my favorite magazine. Her body was my favorite book to read. They say that all poets must have an unrequited love. Arm bell for you guys. That Jehovah's Witnesses is kind of this secret weird thing where it's there's all it's 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 a flirtatious uh, you know, dance with the devil. Is someone a Jehovah's Witness or not? And this goes back to the Jackson Five. It are are the Jacksons witnesses or not? Sometimes yes, no, back and forth. It's all over the place. Was Michael Jackson a Jehovah's Witness? It all depends. That's how shifty these people are. It all depends on who's asking the question. That depends. Do you like Michael Jackson or do you not like him? If you like him, then certainly, by all means, he was a Jehovah's Witness. And we can document that for you and prove it for you very quickly. 
Oh, you think or you think Michael Jackson was a child toucher? Oh, well, we were. Who's who's Michael Jackson? I barely heard of him. Is Omarion a Jehovah's Witness? I agree with you. It would be fun at first. I hell, I'd go with you guys. But how long until the novelty of this uh, dissipates? Well, I guess um, I guess the time has come. Omarion is in a jail cell, sadly. Um, and we and we'll we'll continue here. Uh, just to further confirm, isn't it strange how anytime a celebrity becomes Jehovah's Witness or kind of it's it's kind of this mysterious enigma that goes on. It's never really clear if anyone is ever a Jehovah's Witness. It's always a mystery wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in an enigma. Why is it so hard to confirm if somebody is or is not a Jehovah? Get this, get this off my screen. No, I don't want to get started. What is this? Why is I don't know. Is this an alarm heard about Omarion? Uh he is I I've switched to belief net here where they're discussing the topic. And it's divulged that another another celebrity is learning the truth. Here we go again. Actually a few months back I saw a photograph of him carrying a New World translation of the Bible and a Bible teach book. And was hoping and praying that he would take what he was learning to heart. And now he's in handcuffs. Go to this link. BB Buzz. Blah, 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 blah. And then scroll down. About two-thirds of the page to read that part. That's an interview. In which the interviewer says, I hear that you recently became Jehovah's Witness? Well, I'm not technically a Jehovah's Witness because I haven't been baptized. Marion is a, uh, he's one of the young JW celebrities going on here, and, uh, unfortunately, another, another JW celebrity, a la Terrence Howard, in handcuffs. Well, at least he's not laying on a slab like Michael Jackson, yet. Um, if you, you may not have, what you have to do in order to call yourself a Jehovah's Witness? You can become an unbaptized publisher, you see? But in order to really be associated with the religion, you have to be baptized. I have been studying with Jehovah's Witnesses for about two years now. Will you go door knocking? Yeah, I can see myself doing it. Prince does it. Oh, Lord. I think it would be fun. Oh, boy. <laughs> this. Oh, Marion, you have so much in store for you. I think it would be fun to go door to door knocking with him. Prince and Omarion on your do doorstep. What a day. It would be really interesting to knock on somebody's door and then see them open it up and be like, Oh, Prince. I, I fear, Omarion, that the novelty of that may wear off. It, it, I, I